It was a double celebration at Windy Hill today with Terry Danaher playing his first game since last year's grand final, from which he received an 11 match suspension, and Kevin Sheedy notching led by 10 points at the first break. Thereafter, it was goal for goal, and to lessen and break the trend, scoring three quick ones before the half time siren to trail by just six points. Essendon continued its rally, with Kieran Spawn just getting there and Peter Kranzberg hugging the boundary. And finally, the more and more each week. Remember at the beginning of the year when he said he'll play five or six games this year? Well, he's played a few more, the 17 year old. He's got a real touch of class. It's a game out of Fitzroy. Terry Danner, who's come back yesterday, we'll be talking to Terry a little later in the prize. Essendon, they certainly had some great skill. Uh, at getting the ball out of the corridor. They just chipped it everywhere, but let me give some votes for a start. First of all, McMullen, who I think may have been secretly taken away from Collingwood to play with Essendon, and is a very good player. Ruse, back to his very best form, Ruse, and Buick, I think, who consistently helped uh, Essendon get onto, the, you know, get onto the winning track because early in the game they didn't have very many good players at all and it was, I really thought that Fitzroy should have been five or six goals in front at half time. I think a couple of lucky goals uh, to Essendon during the uh, second quarter just got them close but to, they had some very good players Fitzroy and they did move the ball out of the centre area and kept chipping it away and they seemed to have three or four more uh, players at the drop of the ball all the time and, and I think they went in even a little bit more fiercely than, than Eston did. Oh, but but I've seen Essendon a couple of times. Wanganeen and uh, Long, what was their influence on the game? Well, uh, early, not much, but uh, as the game progressed, Wanganeen, he's a delightful player, a natural player who just exhibits his own skill all the time and of course Long, we see him, he's here. He's beautiful, he, he can balk, he can kick the ball and he seems to have that great vision to bring other players in and his tackling now is is first class. Bob, you said Ruse had lost the plot early in the year. He must have found it, has he? He certainly has. He, he's done extremely well over the last uh, few weeks, uh, Ruse. He's doing very well indeed. And indeed, the boy at full forward wheel, and if he was a little bit bigger and probably had a better team, he'd be a, a really top chance at you know, kicking a lot of goals. Actually, Bob, I was just going to ask you about him, so I won't. But what about Iron Munger? How long do you think he can stay in the game? Well, I thought Iron Munger played a great game yesterday, really very good, and I was amazed that he would sit on the bed, must have been exhausted or something, because I thought he was the worst game I've ever seen Simon Madden play, I think, very poor game, and I actually thought...